Hey YouTube, Brooksy Tech here, and today I am going over a video of how to install Raptor lights on your third gen Toyota Tacoma with the TRD Pro style grill. Um, so I purchased these uh, from eBay, they're about 22, 23 bucks, um, brand new. It came with the lights and the harness, and then I'm making a few additions myself. I have this kind of general automotive plug from an old project I didn't use. Um, a fuse tap, and then um, some of the supplies I'm gonna need for the install. So I would suggest that you get some solder, a solder iron, um, some wire strippers to clean up the wires, um, or you could use electrical tape. You know, you could always use butt connectors or other things, but um, I just want it to be as clean as possible. And I'm using this plug because it comes apart, and then that way I can wire it at the grill to disconnect if I ever take, have to take the grill out instead of having to pop out each one of these uh, connections. You also probably want some zip ties to clean everything up, but uh, let's go ahead and start getting this on the truck. Putting the actual lights in the grill um, is actually pretty straightforward. I would suggest kind of planning out um, where you want them first before you pop them in. Um, I'm going with a little wider look. Some people like to go up in the second row here above the letters and do uh, four in a row or even some people have done three, but they're pretty easy. Um, I did kind of have to sand these down a little bit or with a file to uh, make them fit good. They're a little snug, but uh, these middle ones should just pop uh, right in and you just um, push them in. Should get a nice click there. And um, they do have an arrow like up and down, but uh, I don't know if that really matters. It might just matter, like the lights might be a little higher on one side or the other, but um, definitely put the arrow. And three of them on mine had, one had an R and three had an L. I wonder if that just has to do with the wiring. So I put the one with the R all the way on the right side here. So let's go ahead and next step is wire these from the back. So once you get the cable in around back here, you're just gonna push in the leads um, to the four connections. Um, and then you'll have the cable here. And you're gonna wanna route that um, underneath. And you definitely have more than enough cable to go to the battery. So, uh, but I'm still gonna put my uh, connect. I'll probably do it about right here just so it's um, similar to where the factory connection is for the um, radar sensor for the uh, pre-collision detection. But uh, yeah, I'll get that wired up and show you what I did. Okay, quick update of my install. Um, I zip tied all these connections. Um, I need to still need to snip the ends. And then I cut my wire and put this, um, soldered in this nice plug and then I'm gonna solder up the other connection and then run that to the battery, or excuse me, to the relay and then ground it and then we should be all done. All right, so we have our final uh, cable made up here. We got a fuse tap and then uh, this to ground. I'll just uh, slip it in behind there where I already wired in my light bar and then Kind of hard to see, but got my uh, connector up there. So um, if I need to unplug it to remove the grill for any reason, then it's easy to do. It's just zip tied to the um, the adapt, or excuse me, the um, pre-collision sensor there. So it's nice and easy, convenient location. And then so we're going to want to tap into the fuse for the. Um, lights so they'll turn on when you turn on the lights and I actually pulled the fuse cover and if you'll see that this first 10 amp fuse not these ones down here but this one right here is right hand uh, low beam so we're going to pull that fuse out I already did it is a 10 amp fuse and then we should be able to um, snake our cable through here and attach with the out of fuse into the 10 amp fuse location. This is just temporary. I'll do it a little cleaner and then uh, and then we'll ground it out. 
to the bat body and then when we turn the lights on our raptor lights should turn on so let me get that um, finalized and then we can test it out okay so we got everything wired up here um, just the add a fuse i did notch out um, a little hole in the fuse box just so the cable could run in there and then grounded my cable behind the relay here um, and then let's go ahead and test it out so we're going to turn our lights on all right and they are working that's looking pretty good um, went with the white ones, pretty excited about that. I do think I'm eventually going to update to probably not some LED lights, but maybe it's like some uh, Sylvania ultra whites or whatever they're called, just to kind of give it a little more of a white look. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, pretty easy mod, probably took me about an hour or so, and um, you could definitely do it faster, but I just, I really wanted to have this uh, disconnect in there to um, be able to d disconnect things without having to take everything apart. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumb, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Tacoma content. Thanks. Have a good one.